following is a non-profit fandom. Wizard is Heart belongs to the Shall We Date series, which is owned by NTT Soulmare. Please support the official release on Dear Otome. We hope you enjoy! I woke to the pleasant melody of singing birds. It's morning already? When I looked at the clock, it was already 30 minutes past my usual waking time. Oh no, I'm late! I leaped out of my bed in a frenzy and hurried to get ready for class. Why couldn't I wake up at the normal time? I was even more surprised to see Amelia still lying in bed as well. She's always up before me! Amelia, wake up! We're going to be late! <sighs> huh? She looked towards me with squinted eyes. <sighs> Late for what? <sighs> Late for class! I see. What? Today is a holiday. Huh? You heard me. Today is a day off. Really? Jeez, I see. Didn't you even read the syllabus? Syllabus? I didn't know it was in there. Is the schedule written in it? I remember getting something like that, along with a set of textbooks. But I never looked at it. <sighs> I'm going back to bed. No, oh, yeah, breakfast is served buffet style today. And you can go there anytime. Then I... Oh, okay. She yanked the pile of sheets back over her head and rolled in bed. I unsteadily went back to the bed, then I had a deep sigh. <sighs> well, I guess I got up early for nothing. Might as well go back to sleep. I turned back towards the bed and was just about to hop in. Then, a tapping sound rattled the window from the outside. Huh? The noise didn't stop, so I opened the curtain to investigate. Is that... an owl? A violet owl with yellow eyes fluttered in the air while pecking at the window with its beak. What's an owl doing here? Could it be someone's familiar? When I opened the window, it landed and settled on the windowsill. What are you? Someone's familiar? Huh. What a surprise that an imbecile like you could figure that out. The owl suddenly spoke in Klaus's voice. Uh, what? I knew that the owl was someone's familiar. And it's Klaus's owl. But why would Klaus send it here anyway? Um, Klaus? What? What do you want with me so early in the morning? There's no class today, which means we have more time for training, am I right? S seriously No way! It's my first holiday at the Academy! What? Do you have a problem with that? No... Good. Honesty and obedience are always good. It's a good thing I lied then. I couldn't say anything back to Klaus, so I stuck my tongue out at the owl. <laughs> it's a good thing he isn't here in person. It looks like you aren't aware I can see everything my familiar sees. Huh? I saw that. You better get ready to work extra hard today. I'm sorry! I'll be waiting for you at the Prefect's office in 30 minutes. Huh? W wait I tried to stop him. But the owl flapped its wings and soared away from the window before I could. No way! Just when I thought I'd be free from the clutches of Klaus for an entire day. Then again, I guess this is what I get for telling him I'd stay with him yesterday. It's obviously going to take a lot of work if I want to pass a judgment. Enough sulking. I need to hurry up and get ready. be at the academy on a day off. I would have loved to sleep a bit longer too. Dragging my feet down the halls, I reluctantly came to the prefect's office. I tapped against the door with two quick knocks. It's me. Come in. Excuse me. 
Much to my surprise, not only Klaus was inside, but Elias was there too. Elias? Crystals, good morning. So, you two know each other, huh? We're in the same class. Oh, that's right. By the way, this is the first time I've seen the two of them together outside of class. Come to think of it... My eyes glance back and forth between the two brothers. They just look so much alike! What are you staring at? I was just thinking you look so much alike. We are brothers, after all. Of course. I know, but you're more like twins. We've been mistaken for twins more times than I can count. True. I can totally see why. Still, it is so obvious that I'm the more dignified and intelligent one. As such, no one has ever mistaken me for the younger brother. True. Uh, oh. Elias's eyes are getting gloomy. Anyway, about that thing earlier. Right. Using a magic circle for summoning a magical creature is not an easy process. But it doesn't appear to require that much magical power. You shouldn't take this thing too easy. Especially summoning a magical creature with a higher magical power is not an ordinary task. Not only magical power, but also the physical and mental stamina required is tremendous. While they discussed, my eyes were fixed to their faces, watching them converse from off to the side. The view from here is just like a scene from a movie. They look so gorgeous, that I could just watch this all day long. But it will be worth the risk if it succeeds. And if it fails, do you know what will happen then? You might put everyone around you at risk. I... Summoning magic is a lot more hazardous than you expect. It's so obvious for me. You're a weak and younger, inexperienced wizard who is not ready for this yet. <clears throat> Just concentrate on developing the magical tool. But like I said, it's necessary to do this if I'm to develop it at all. Then it's simple. Try it again when you aren't such a feeble and horrible wizard. <sighs> that was harsh. I understand. I'll put it aside for another time. A wise decision. Would you mind if I came back to discuss about it another time? Anytime you want. Um... Excuse me? Ah, yes. Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you giving her some special training? Yes. Hey, Elias. You have nothing to do right now, am I right? What a rude assumption. But true in this case. I do have time now. Then join us. Me? Don't you think it would be more enjoyable hazing her together, Elias? Yes, that just sounds very entertaining, Klaus. Uh, wait. The two devils snickered and stared at me with wicked eyes. Uh, go, go easy on me, please. This is just too scary. Oh. All right, let us continue the training to improve your concentration, or in your magical power from the other day. No, not that again. Did you say something? No! Nothing, sir! So, let's review. What is the incantation to summon the tornado? Uh... What was it again? The incantation to summon a tornado? Turbo Ventos! Not surprised you remembered it, considering how many times you had to practice it. I'm relieved you are smarter than an imbecile after all. Good work! I knew there was something in that small head of yours. Th thank you? Are they really complimenting me or what? Well, today you are going to make some bubbles using water spells. You'll have to move it around in the air without letting it pop. Aww. That sounds really tough! Elias, give it a try. Alright. Elias stood firm and tall with his wand at the ready. Sabo Aqua! A translucent bubble floated off of his wand and glided into the air. Move it left. Sure. 
Now write. Sure. Good. You want to do it exactly how Elias showed you. Yes, sir! Elias is so good at this. He's a natural. You can stop now, Elias. All right. As he lowered his wand, the bubble popped and splashed onto the ground. Still, Elias, that was awfully uncreative. Your spell was just straight out of the textbook and boring. <clears throat> How disappointing. You should put some originality into your dull magic. It's too flat that it's not interesting to see at all. You are such a thick-headed wizard. What's wrong with doing it by the book? Your magic expressed none of your personality, originality, and uniqueness. Your spell is the same as everyone else's. No great wizards are born from following what's written in the textbooks. Magic is always evolving. Magic is constantly being created, refined, and redefined. Then, how do you think new magic spells are invented? Think creatively. Use your imagination more. You must realize that the flexibility in thinking gives magic life. Without that, we wizards would be casting the same exact spells over and over again, resulting in no great wizards ever being born. Without creativity, any kind of magical tool you create will never be anything more than an imitation of someone else's work. You must create something of your own, or you will never amount to anything at all. <sighs> um... Klaus? Elias? The atmosphere here is getting sulky. I don't like this at all. Unfortunately, I'm not as genius as you, Klaus. What I have left to hope is to strive each day to learn and improve myself by the textbooks. Huh. What an excuse of nonsense. You're just being constrained by the text. I can see that you know it yourself already. You're aware of it, yet you don't know how to overcome that barrier. That's why your magic will always be limited by what the books say. What you need now are not the answers in the text, but the ones you discover on your own. You must fight yourself to change yourself. You're too thick-headed and stubborn. Think outside the box. Then your head would have some flexibility someday. <laughs> Klaus! The sadistic side of him is stepping forward too much right now. Excuse me. Probably not willing to take any more criticism from Klaus. Elias quickly left the prefix room, leaving us behind. Elias... Huh. He's always been pouty like that since before he could walk. How sweet he is. That's my little boy. Hey, Klaus! It's not funny! You hurt his feelings! I was being kind by telling him the truth. Then... You should do it nicer, without being so mean. Your words were too harsh. If I beat around the bush, I'll never get the point across. That's why I always say what I think. Even if there's a chance the person hearing it won't like it. You always take everything to the extreme. Extreme, huh? Perhaps I do.